everyone, welcome back to SnowRunner, again with me, Addicted to Life. Today I will be showcasing the Fallen Trees contract in Grainwoods River, Wisconsin, USA, part of the Phase 3 new update. It'll be the three Sequoia trees that you actually have to use a crane, and not a log crane, a regular crane to pick up. Kind of confusing to me, but hey, it is what it is. Uh, what I'll be doing is... Uh, speed running the first 25 minutes of the video kind of like I did the last video So if you don't want to watch all the work being done, you can all you can skip all the way ahead to 25 minutes I won't be bothered by it all, but some people like seeing the work that was done up to uh, the finishing or the finale of the contract so once again what I did was I went ahead and sped run I sped up all the video all the pre-work to the finale times two uh, to get a better look at everything in a fast-paced uh, environment, I would guess. But once again, there'll be music. I don't want to go any uh, more farther past this. Uh, there's, I use a ton of mods in this. Like Everything I use is a mod, and I talk about it at the end of the video as well to fill you in on what mods I did and didn't use. Uh, and that'll be it. I'll catch you guys in 25 minutes. Have a good one.
Alright guys, just like the last video, if you made it through all the pre-work up to this point, congratulations, and I wanted to jump in with you and do at least the end of this mission with you guys. This map has been a blast. I believe this is literally the last contract. I did all the tasks, and it should give me 100% on this map after this. We'll see. Um, but... That truck up there, the last one you've just seen, is the newest mod that I've seen in the mod menu for PlayStation. And it is the Pacific P-12 Orca M181. That thing's a beast. The P-12 are already, P-12 and P-16, they're already beast of vehicles. But, um, and, and now it's even more beast. It comes with, think, I think, like 60-inch wheels. So, I end up doing the wider ones on it so I could have a wider you know, extension of the tires so it doesn't bobble as much. Uh, but those are literally all mods in the menu there. I got the A's off. That's the crane vehicle I'm using. Then this, the P-12 is the last one, the 16 I used earlier. The Paystar is the crane vehicle we are using all the way at the train station to unload the trees. Uh, you got the A's off Iceberg. That's the one before the P-12 I use. And then this is the the wide flatbed semi-trailer, which is a times five. That's the trailer we are using. All right, so yeah, I already mapped it out all the way back out there, and yeah, my my original thought was, hey, because all the sequo sequoia, I think that's how you say it, trees were like what in this area originally. So I was like, yeah, I said I'll just. No, oh, I think it was over here. I said like, I'll just drop three trailers right there. Good thing I did it because after I did, I thought they would just like. uh they would just come back, you know, like you'd pick, drop one off and then one would reappear, but it, it definitely not. It was here, then it was over here, and now we're all the way over here. So, I'm glad I didn't do that to start off. But yeah, let's get this started. Hopefully this crane reaches up top. If not, uh, yeah, I guess we'll see what happens. Start her up here, and I did, I definitely did one at daytime, or at nighttime, just so we could see what it looks like at night, but uh, the rest of the way will be definitely in the morning or the afternoon. Alright, anchors out, crane mode in. Yeah, I really hope this reaches up that high. Well, I guess we'll see. Looks like it's gonna be close. I'll have to raise it up here. Can't even, I can't even tell if this. That's my, just like I said in the last video, my biggest gripe about this is the crane itself. Um, the, the, the camera view, not the crane, the camera view on the crane. I'm just, just not a big fan of it. Oh, come on, we can get it up there. Come on. Oh, oh, look at that. It just makes it. Yes, slide up there. Come on, get it up there. Look at that extension. Oh, how it just makes it. Oh, that's what I'm worried about. Release. Oh, okay. We're gonna leave the crane up there. Uh, I'll take a crazy screenshot of that. Um, I'll definitely do a montage of pictures at the end of the video. All the screenshots I took of this trip. So, stop the engine. Change truck. We will pack it. Boom. I'm gonna leave that crane on there. Shouldn't be any problem. And, uh, oh yeah, there is something I wanted to do real quick. Hopefully I can reach this. Repair points. I can't reach it from here, can I? You know, that's fine. I'm alright with that. Let's just go ahead and recover this. Boom, that one's finally finalized. And then we'll go back to the P12 all the way over here. And it should get back. So we are at 119 gallons. It should be fine. We should be able to get back, no problem. I just wanted to repair it, but that's alright. So yeah, definitely, definitely loved this map. Uh, I was going to say over the other one, but I really haven't touched based on much of the other map yet. And that's what I'll definitely be doing after this. Um, I think we're just going to, if you notice this truck, it bounces quite a bit. And I actually have the raised suspension on it, because I, I didn't think I needed it earlier, and I was trying to, you know, see what we need to do for this, uh, this contract, the Fallen Titans, and... I wasn't using the raised suspension at all. Uh, excuse me. And yeah, it was it was struggling. 
so I, you know, I said, you know what, if we're going to raise up the suspension, we're going to get the wider tires. Because originally I had the skinny tires, and it looked like it was just going to bounce all over the place. Um, the, the reason why I picked up this mod was it actually comes with a log carrier on the truck, which is something that the developers of SnowRunner failed to do. They should have put, they should have gave us a logging carrier on the truck as well as a trailer, and they didn't. And uh, before I end this video, I'll recover this and show you what I mean by that. Um, yes, there's a, a log carrier for the long, uh, the long logs, but there's not a log carrier for medium that you can hook onto your truck. I think we're gonna have to go through there, so I'm gonna hit that sign. So yeah, definitely still off of work, uh, according to my job, not allowed to tur return back till Monday, so that just means more grinding out SnowRunner for y'all, and me, myself, and I. So. Yes, the P12 and P16 horns, the best, my personal opinion. That and rest the Dairy Longhorn. 3520, I believe. Best, best by far horns in the game. Alright. Oh, God. Um, oh, man. I, I about missed that. Those little bridges that we actually do need. Oh, God. We're going to miss it. Okay, well, I'm just going to pull across, anyways. The other thing, if you notice, while the video was speeding along before you got to me now, I really didn't need all wheel drive all the way down here. That's something I love about the P16 and the P12. Like, the engine's so powerful and the wheels are normally so good that you don't need all-wheel drive and diff lock and all that. It comes with diff lock always on with this truck. But yeah, I'm going to go ahead and turn off all-wheel drive. Hopefully we don't need it the rest of the way. But we shall see. Probably going to get hung up here. Or hit a tree and not pay attention. There we go. But yeah, that J that JBA Azov with the crane I was using, that thing definitely struggles going up hills with the heavy crane on it. It wants to roll back, so I had to crane every time I was going up a hill. But other than that, out of all the mods, I think I love the Azov Iceberg the best so far. But this this one's really good too. The Azov Iceberg, this P12, the Orca, and then the P16 JBA, probably my top favorites. So we're going to not hit the path, we're just going to skip that and we're going to go straight down here like I did the train mission. I think it'll be a lot easier. You know what, we'll put the all-wheel drive in just because we're going over a bunch of boulders and crap here. And that'll, that'll probably just, oh there it goes finally, I was thinking that'll probably just glide down the train tracks, no big deal. So yeah, I definitely love this map all around. And like I said, it reminds me a lot of Mud Runner for some reason. But, oh yeah, look at that, that's so awesome. You know, let me get a screenshot. Oh, that looks so good. I love this truck and trailer combination. It looks so good with the bridge in the background. Put the lights on. Yeah, even that. Let's put the lights on, take another screenshot there. That looks so good. Alright, so, yep, put her back in the gear here. Originally, I was gonna just use, like, three twin steers. But, um, believe it or not, this is a five-piece trailer, and that log is a five-piece log. I want to put this on the twin steer, which is four pieces, and it was too big. Said it could not pack it, unfortunately. Alright, we are almost here, almost to the completion of Fallen Titans, which is the Sequoia trees. Do one more delivery of the rail car here. Then, yeah, like I said, hopefully I remember, after I do the crane, I'll recover this truck, and I'll show you what I mean by the, uh, the log carrier on the back, if you don't, if you don't know what I'm talking about, so. Alrighty. Yeah, definitely in videos to come, you'll see a lot more of me using this truck. Alright, don't reel into the face star there. And, boom. That should work, right? That'll work. Cool. This is a lot farther up because I got that rear suspension. Then we will stop the engine. Put her back to d full daytime here. I just wanted to take one more screenshot here. 
Alrighty, and then we'll switch over to the trucks. Anchor should already be on, but they're not, because I turned off the truck, okay. Whatever, because I love the truck, maybe that's why. Crane mode. There we go. Uh, I'm retarded. You guys see what I did? I'm retarded. I did an unpack of the trailer. There we go. It's like, this isn't gonna work. Hello, McFly, anybody home? Get that reference. You've had a great, great childhood. Or maybe you're living that childhood right now. Boom, attached, lift. I wish you could, I, I'm gonna say it one more time, the camera view. I wish you could like pull, there we go, pull it back some, but I don't know, still have room I guess. I guess we're gonna have to rotate this one all the way around. I don't know why it's not working like it did the last time, but all right. I do think it's weird that we're using a normal crane to pick up these trees and not the log crane, but hey, to each your own, right? That should be good ish. Pull it back some. Right, drop her down. Drop her down hard. Or don't drop her, you son of a. God damn this thing, dude. Come on, don't make the last one a piece of joke. Come on, roll it in there. Yes. Drop her in there. Stop the truck. Restore the crane. Boom. Cargo management. And done! 18,550. I think that's the best payout I've gotten in all these contrasting tasks. Fallen Titans. Great! Now these trees will be put to use. All thanks to you. Thank you. Thank you very much. So, yeah, next time you see me, we should be in Badger Lake. And then to show you what I mean for this truck, for the add ons, let me uh, detach this trailer, delete the trailer. Yep. And then recover this. Alright, this is why you're gonna want this truck. Not that, not that, not that. This, right here. This is what the developer should have brought out on our trucks, but they didn't. So, you know, obviously. You're gonna you're, you're gonna want this because now you can carry medium logs on this, and then put medium logs on the back, which will be I think it's, it'll be the best thing ever. So, yep, you can carry two tons of medium logs. So you can carry two two truck loads, which would be twelve stacks of planks if you needed. So. Or just two medium log sets. So I think that'll be a really good feature for this. Other than that, I hope you guys have a good one. There will be a slideshow at the end of this video if you want to see all the screenshots I took. If not, please like and subscribe and continue coming back. I love the support. Thank you so much, and I'll see you in the next one. Have a good one. Peace.